what triggers people to finally get on with estate planning. Almost no one wants to think about estate planning. It can be tedious and for one thing it requires that you consider the end of your life. No thanks, no thanks. There are probably a million other things that we'd rather do, including dental work than to sit down and begin the estate planning process. On the other hand, everyone over the age of 18 should do estate planning. My name is Meg Allen Troick and I'm the lead attorney here at the Law Office of Brian Fagan for Estate Planning. With that being said, rather than waiting until it's too late, we can take matters in our own hands and begin the process of preparing for end of life situations. We can do that right now. The idea of scrambling to finish a will on your deathbed or struggling through a complicated estate planning um, situation on your final days or days is not ideal. I believe everyone would agree that you should start thinking about estate planning as soon as it's possible if you haven't already done so. The alternative is unquestionably undesirable for you or your family. When it comes to estate planning, we want to know your why. In other words, what motivates you? What makes you want to plan for the future? This is how you determine what's important to you. This is your motivation. Nothing is wrong with this. Your what and your how may be different from someone else, but your why is specific to you. I have a favorite saying, estate planning is the best and final way to let your loved ones know that you love them. We can all find motivation in our love. Humans are above all self-interested. Even toddlers can be motivated to do things when they believe that the task will lead to something favorable. Say candy. My son will totally agree to that. It is noble to leave a legacy. While you're still alive, you can look at your life and see how you want things to be passed on. However, the true fruits of our legacy lives in the memory of our loved ones. Love is not forcing your spouse to wait months for the court to make an order for him or her to access the bank account. There is nothing important in that would cause your family to go through all that strife. That is, we must be diligent and intentional in our estate planning. If you do not have a will, a probate court in our estate's code will decide what will happen to your assets. However, this division may be different from what you're um, wanting. You may be um, giving all your assets to a lazy child or to a spouse that you intended to divorce. You may even find that you are disinheriting your children. Many unfavorable outcomes happen from the Texas Probate Code outside of you intentionally making your estate plan. This may be disastrous for your biological children if your entire estate passes to your spouse in a second or third marriage. Think about blended families. Estate planning is something that you should not leave to chance. Even if you intend for a close family member to inherit your property, you should plan on directing your wishes in your will. The reality is that you can always be certain about how your property will be worked out if you don't plan. However, if you plan, you control how your assets get divided. You control how your family heirlooms get distributed. You control how your legacy will be remembered. We hope this clarifies estate planning and everything around it. Give us a call, 281-810-9760 to help make a plan that's ideal for you. You can always subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can see us on Facebook. Thank you.